Hello guys, this is Thompson from 5 Best Ones. Are you looking for the best product on the market? If yes, then you're in the right place. In this video, I will share every bit of information with you so that you can pick the best product according to your need. We have made a list by investing a healthy amount of time and effort. The link in the description demonstrates the product list with a pretty reasonable value. So let's get started. If you didn't subscribe to our channel yet, then subscribe now and hit the bell icon for our latest videos. Number 1 Rode NT1 Rode claims that its recently revamped NT1 is the world's quietest 1-inch cardioid condenser, with a self-noise level of just 4.5 bar. We certainly found it ultra-quiet and versatile enough to mick a wide variety of sources. Its smart, sleek design and dark gray livery look uber cool, but the minimalist form factor does lack switches for a base roll-off or pad. At this price point, that's hardly surprising. What the NT1 does offer is an exceptional performance. Vocals are crisp and detailed with plenty of warm low end, nothing amiss in the mid-range, and a wonderful airy clarity to the top end. That silky top end provides fantastic results when recording acoustic guitars and handheld percussion. We've no doubt the NT1 would perform admirably as a drum overhead or on a piano. The lack of pad probably precludes it from close miking loud drums and guitar cabs, but it's heartily recommended for almost every other studio application. A suspension shock mount and pop shield are included in the box, making the NT1 exceptional value. Number 2 Lewitt LCT940 if you love the idea of shaping sound with a microphone or instantly being able to dial in a faithful tone, then the Lewitt LCT940 is worthy of a place on your shortlist. Fancy the warmth of a tube mic one minute and the purity of a FET mic the next? Well, the LCT gives you both at a twist of a dial, plus the ability to blend them together. The LCT940 is two quality mics in one, and everything in between. To help you access its myriad features, Lewitt provides a decent-sized combined SU and remote control unit. Turn the left-hand dial to choose between FED and tube circuitry, or any blend of the two. Twist the right-hand dial to select one of nine polar patterns, Omni, Broad Cardioid, Cardioid, Super Cardioid, and Figure 8, plus an additional four intermediate patterns that sit between them. Pad settings range from minus 6 decibels to a substantial minus 18 decibels, enabling this mic to pick up some seriously loud sounds. A low-cut filter operates from 40 Hz right up to 300 Hz well into the lower mid-range. These features add up to one very versatile studio tool. Whether you're looking for an instrument to record a faithful rendition of a sound source, or you want to creatively enhance it, the LCT940 fits the bill. Talking of bills, this mic may carry a relatively high price tag, but it offers a heck of a lot for the money. Number 3 Aston Microphone Spirit The Aston Spirit may not offer any groundbreaking features or revelatory new tech, but it does stay true to the original spirit of Aston, which is to develop fine quality instruments that punch above their mid-range price point. And, of course, it's made in Britain with pride. The Spirit has a very strong aesthetic, a look shared by its sibling the Origin. Their wave-shaped, sprung mesh guards and solid stainless steel casings mark them out as something a bit special in a crowded market. A rather smart black textured version is available, too, as part of the Spirit Black Bundle, which comes complete with a much-needed shock mount and pop filter. Three switchable patterns are on tap. Cardioid, Omni, and Figure 8. There's also a pad with selectable minus 10 decibels and minus 20 decibels attenuation, plus an 80 Hz low cut filter. It performs wonderfully for vocals and acoustic guitar, displaying a smooth mid range, a high top, and agreeable brightness. The proximity effect response is well tamed, so close miking vocals in cardioid mode isn't a biggie. With its switchable polar patterns and low noise characteristic, it also suits room mic and distant miking roles. Number 4 Newman TLM 103 Newman is one of the most revered names in microphones, but the breathtaking sonic character of its products is usually matched by heart-stopping prices. To address this, some years ago the manufacturer introduced a range of more pocket-friendly TLM-branded models, one of which was the TLM 103. Originally aimed at home studios, the mic has since found its way into the hands of many pros. So, how does it stack up against a proper Newman? Very well, as it happens. 
The TLM-103 is billed by Newman as an affordable version of the venerable U87i, one of the best-loved studio microphones in the world. Its capsule design is derived from the U87i, but, instead of offering three polar patterns, the TLM-103 is a fixed cardioid. Both mix share a similar sonic character, but the TLM-103 has a slightly wider presence boost for frequencies above 5 kHz. This lends its voice a touch more clarity. Despite the lack of pad, filter, and switchable patterns, this is more than just a great vocal mech. Try it with acoustic guitars, drum overheads, piano, classical strings, and even lightly driven electric guitar cabs, and you won't be disappointed. Number 5. Shure SM27. Condenser microphones rely on their thin, often fragile, diaphragms to deliver outstanding frequency responses. They sound sublime right up until the point when they're dropped, kicked, soaked in beer, left out in the rain, or sat on by a fat roadie. Which is why many spend most of their life shut safely out of harm's way in the haven of a warm studio. The Shure SM27 is an altogether more rugged beast. If it had arms, they'd be tattooed, old school hearts and anchors, and if it had friends they'd look and talk like Jason Statham. Shure's entire SM range, including the SM27, is designed to take the kind of punishment that live performance inflicts. You'd think that its sonic characteristics would be compromised in some way, but the SM27 has a flat, neutral frequency response and very low self-noise. It's perfect for reproducing faithful, natural renditions of delicate sound sources such as tender vocals, acoustic guitar, strings, cymbals, woodwind, and saxophone. A minus 15 decibels pad means it's equally brilliant for miking up screamers and guitar cabs. The SM27 is a proper all-rounder that's equally at home in the studio or on the stage. 